Well, I am here at the Petro in Clearwater, Minnesota. Just got my two coffees filled, and now I'm going to pick up a subscriber load. It is Monday. Um, it's like 8.15 in the morning, so I'm going to enjoy this cup of coffee as I drive probably about another 45 minutes to pick up this subscriber load. Minnesota pulling into Travel Centers of America because with my discount the pump price so the pump price is four dollars and ten cents a gallon with my pump price or sorry my discounted price and if they're taken out I am paying a raw price of two dollars and ninety seven cents Well, good morning. I'm just doing my light test right now during my pre-trip. Um, I'm here in Indiana. That's Highway 80 right there. Yes, I'm on the Indiana Turnpike. A tool road that I absolutely despise. But I'm under a time crunch to get this load to Maryland by Wednesday morning at 4 a.m. So I gotta take the tollway. Um, I'm just finishing up my pre-trip here. Um, didn't really film much of anything yesterday because all I did was drive. Um, that's all I'm going to do again today. So I'll probably pick up the camera every now and then. But for the most part, it's going to be a driving day. Well, it's snowing this morning here in Indiana. Um, and I stopped here at a service plaza real quick just to fill my cup of coffee and then get back on the road. But yeah, we got snow here in Indiana and it's accumulating. So it should be a fun day of driving.
Well, good morning. It is freaking cold here in Maryland. Um, it's 4.12 a.m. And they already gave me a door here at PFG in Maryland. Um, so I'm going to get out of here early today, I got a feeling. But, uh, yeah. I drove here and made it here on time. I didn't think I was going to. I'll talk a little bit more about it once I get to the truck. Man, it's cold. Well, like I said, um... I have a four, or I had a, uh, I had a 4 a.m. appointment. I made it here on time. I actually contacted the subscriber yesterday around, I think it was like one o'clock Eastern time, maybe noon central. I was in Youngstown, Ohio, and I hit my first snowstorm. Um, actually, I had snow all the way from like Indiana into Pennsylvania. Um, but once I hit Youngstown, it started coming down pretty heavy and we were only going like 30 miles an hour on 80. I took every toll road to get here. Um, so I actually called and said, Hey, I might be a little bit late. And that's where this comes into play. What my next statement about how important communication is. Um, I have hauled this exact load for the same subscriber multiple times and I went and did the pickup and I didn't reach out to him. I didn't, I didn't send him a text. I didn't send him an email. I didn't give him a phone call, let him know I got it, the load picked up. So when I called yesterday, he made a joke like, oh, the best trucker in the country uh, didn't even call to let us know he was loaded. We were wondering if you got loaded. Uh, the reason I didn't call was sometimes when I call, and say, hey, load's complete, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not that he is short. It's almost like he doesn't worry about it. You know what I mean? So I dropped the ball and did not call him. Um, so he gave me a little crap. Uh, but he's like, hey, good, you know, no news is good news from you. You know, when I'm calling, there's usually a problem. Um, so I did call him and say, hey, can you reach out to the receiver here in Maryland and let them know I might be late. Like, I don't know how bad traffic is or how bad the weather is continuing eastward. Well, once I got into like, what is that, Somerset, Pennsylvania, all the snow stopped, the roads were fine, and I was able to make it here on time. Park on the shoulder of the road, go to sleep, get a phone call at 4 a.m. and told to back into door number 13, so that's where I sit. Uh, should be pretty quick unload. Typically, it you know, it's about an hour, hour and a half here. Uh, they get you out pretty quick. That's quick for a grocery style warehouse in Reefer. Hour, hour and a half, that's quick time. Quick unload time. So yeah, I'll get back with y'all once I'm unloaded. behind me is the clean trailer uh, empty and they didn't leave any debris in there I mean I they left the seal in there but that's it so I'm gonna slide my axles and get out of here well I am parked back out on the street here after the delivery um, just off duty right now I don't pick up again until later today like 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm only 40 miles away from my pickup so I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit so I thought I would break this load down um, this load originated in like the St. Cloud area of Minnesota and came out here to New Windsor Maryland 
Um, it was a total of 1,159 miles. Um, it was a fresh load. It ran at 40 degrees start, or sorry, 39 degrees start and stop. Um, let's talk about some costs I had just on this load. Um, this was kind of a tight window. I picked up at 10 o'clock Monday morning and I delivered at 4 a.m. today. Today's Wednesday. Um, so I had to take all the toll roads here. That's something I don't like to do. Um, after I got here, like I thought I was going to be late here because of weather. After I got here, um, last night I had 26 minutes left on my um, 11 hour drive clock. So first night I left 21 minutes on last night, 27 minutes. So I drove basically, you know, almost 11 hours both days, which is something I typically don't do. I'm sure a lot of you out there do that. I don't like driving like that. I don't like putting down like 600 miles a day. That's something I don't like. But let's talk about some of these costs. I did fuel up one time. Um, as soon as I got loaded, I fueled up because I needed fuel. I pumped 143.7 gallons of diesel fuel um, for 400. This is my cost. I got for $3.26 per gallon. That was my discounted price. Raw diesel price ended up being under three dollars a gallon like two dollars and 97 cents a gallon but anyways i ended up spending 468 dollars and 46 cents on fuel um i got based on what my truck says and the quick numbers i did 8.06 miles per gallon on this load it was a light load it weighed like 33,000 pounds uh, but I paid tolls, man, and boy, did it tolls cost quite a bit of money here um, to drive through Illinois. Now, real quick, I went onto my app, and the only tolls that are on the app that have actually gone through are the Illinois tolls. Um, no other tolls. The Indiana Toll Road, Ohio Turnpike, Pennsylvania Turnpike haven't like hit my account yet, so I just went on the websites and added up the tolls. So Illinois ended up costing me $55.55. Um, Indiana, man, was a kick in the pants. That toll road's horrible, by the way. Um, and it ended up costing me $71.47 to cross Highway 80 in Indiana. I just said Illinois, but I meant Indiana. Uh, the next toll road I took was the Ohio Turnpike. I don't mind taking that highway or that that toll road. It's super nice. Uh, I I don't mind paying that. That ended up being forty five dollars and seventy five cents. And then I had the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Um, on their website, it says I'm going to pay fifty five dollars. That's entering from the what is that Gateway Two to Breezewood. Um, it says I'm going to pay $55. I, I swore it was like 65, but whatever. So if you add up the $55 and 55 cents spent in Illinois, the 71.47 in Indiana, the 45.75 in Ohio and the 55 in Pennsylvania, my toll cost for this trip was $227.77. Now, this was a good load. Um, gross to the truck was $3.26 per mile. Um, I believe I did another good job for this subscriber. Where I did drop the ball is I did not call, text, or email when I got loaded. And that's something I always do. So I think he got accustomed to me doing that and I didn't this time. Um, I really don't have an excuse. Like I just spaced it out. Uh, so I dropped the ball there on the communication side, but I did contact him yesterday uh, because I thought I was gonna be late uh, with the weather. Uh, but the weather ended up clearing up and people remembered how to drive in the little bit of snow that had fallen. So yeah. 
all in all a good trip um just quick recap 1159 miles i got 8.06 miles per gallon i did have a fuel purchase which i need to purchase fuel my little tax says i have 200 miles before i need fuel um i had a fuel purchase of 468 dollars and 46 cents to the truck no reefer fuel hardly burned any reefer fuel um and i had a toll cost of 227 dollars and 77 cents so yeah hope you enjoyed this vlog if you've made it this far through my rambling make sure you give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and yeah till next time you know what it is keep on trucking